Hello Pokemon Moshpit, this is Amy Mason and welcome to my 22nd upload against Sparta Madness. Now before I get into the little uh, team uh, preview, I just want to mention this uh, team is made by the uh, PMP Facebook likers. Uh, basically what I did was I threw up a status update on the PMP uh, Facebook page, the link is below, and I asked the uh, PMP audience to uh, pick out six Pokemon, like one each, uh, with the full E spread and move pool, and the first six that were there I would use. And the first six that you see before you are in the exact order they are put in uh, by the PMP audience. And the full um, E spread as well as the move pools will be in the link below, I mean the description below. So check that out. So yeah, like you'll soon see the interesting sets. But looking at his team, you see, you see he's got two dragons. Um, the Feral Thorn, Jealous and Combination, been annoying. He's got a fairly offensive team. He's got like four attackers in the first four Pokemon you see there. The Hydreigon, the Salamence, the... Um, uh, Magnezone and Nido King, and he has his two walls there. Say so his Magnezone's there to kill other Feral Thorns. But look, the team I've got, it's well, first of all, there are at least there are, there's a Drudgon in there, kind of nudged his way in. But like the team, but the move sets I got were pretty good, except for two Pokemon. If you're looking at the move sets now, you probably know which Pokemon I'm talking about. But it's an interesting team, but it's mainly gonna be centered around how much damage Latios can do. Because someone very nice and gave me nice specs Latios to use. So basically, okay, that's what I'm gonna be my main point of attack. Basically, you need to get rid of the Ferrothorn and Magnuson for that my Latios uh, wreck damage. That was the plan of action before the battle. Quickly changed during it. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Like, Let's get on with this Chim Pokemon battle. Now, in terms of lead, I thought Latios would probably be the safest bet because we have to do good, nasty chunks to the rest of uh, Sparta Madness's team. So, that's why I can't be safe. See, he leads off the High Dragon. I definitely have the better leads. So I'm just going to go straight for the Specs uh, Dragon meter because whatever. That comes into this will get absolutely manhandled by the absolute damage. I see, I nearly do have to a fair time, which is pretty good. Now, obviously, I kind of predict him to set up the uh, Stealth Rocks here. I was actually contemplating going to Gyarados because if you've seen the Gyarados set, it is a bit crazy. But I, he doesn't set up the Set Rocks. He goes straight into his Magnet. So I'm probably, think, probably thinking I'll go into Jirachi to um, do damage to it. But he shows me he has a hidden power for it. And this is actually quite special defensive uh, freedom. So I have to take that. Relatively, obviously, it did 75%, but this is Magnuson. So I'm able to put that thing to sleep, which is very good. Obviously, any sleeping Pokemon's handy. So obviously, I kind of figured I didn't think I'd be saying it. I was kind of set up too early, so I swap out. And again, I sort of go happy days. I got a Salamence in here, but unfortunately, I really should have copped on that um, it was Scarfed because I didn't see the Intimidate. And most people run Moxie, run Scarf, and unfortunately, he takes out my. Uh, he takes out my um, Latios, which is a bit unfortunate. That was like my main special attack, so I'm pretty much screwed. But I'll go into my um, Jirachi, max HP, max defense, modest nature. And the seal does nearly half to myself. So I set up a sub. And I was sort of kind of, kind of hoping that uh, I get a couple of power hacks with um, power hacks with Thunder. And hopefully I can even land at Thunder. But because in the High Dragon, so, okay, come on, land, get me the power hacks. That's all I wanted. No. 60% chance off. Oh, it was Iron Head, I'll get the flinch, but no, because fucking Thunder, I'll get the 60%, whatever. But he goes for the Dark Pulse to break the soul, but it breaks it easily, if I may add. And I just go for another Thunder, hoping to God that it lands on Force. It's not the case. And he goes for a Fire Blast. I kind of thought he might over predict because the Fire Blast is a bit too obvious to go for. And unfortunately, I lose my Jirachi. So now I've got nothing to take uh, these outrageous Dragon Attacks. So I'll go into the Gyarados now, and I'm just kind of bluffing that this thing has a good set on it. An interesting set, interesting E spread. The only interesting I got on it's like max, uh, max HP. But I swap out. I go into Mayo because thinking he'd go for uh, another Draco in or something like that. But he goes into his Jelly, and I go, okay, Grand. I'm a he's able to kind of counter this with my Breloom, and he just goes for a Tan. I'm sort of thinking, okay, get me that sweet sucking poison heal up. He swaps out. I go for the uh, Drain Punch here because obviously wasn't gonna stay in. And the only obviously I know Nido Queen Nido King, excuse me, doesn't take that a lot of damage from Drain Punch, but I wanted to get a bit more HP back because I can kind of see Breloom being the Pokemon that'll carry me through this battle. But Fire Blast is obvious, so I go into my uh, Jellison to just take that. It takes like an absolute man beast. And I know these things carry uh, Thunderbolt as well, so I kind of just want to get this thing KO because again, this is another Pokemon that can interfere with Breloom sweeping. And the good thing is, it's got the cursed body thing, which is always comes in handy. Go for a nice uh, Scald. Nearly takes down. It's like the slitter HP. It's been unfortunate. Like, I was like, come on, killer. But swaps out. And I know that now that his Thunderbolt is. Uh, his Thunderbolt is. Um, 
disabled, I know he's going to swap out, so I'm able to recover. Again, Jettison is very vital for me for getting to, if I'm able to claw back to his win. But he goes for a Dragon Claw. I would thought like this might do a little bit over 50%, so I'll go for the Acid Armor. And this is actually quite a good set. I was very, when I saw this, I go, mm, that's a very interesting set. Could work late game. Especially the fact that um, you have Toxic and Scald and Recover as well. But he kind of sees this as a losing battle. So he swaps out into his other. I probably didn't think the Toxic was going. Probably more so thought the uh, Scald or Recover was happening there. But maybe the Toxic that would scram. Any residual damage on a... Any residual damage on a special attacker with Life Orb always comes in handy. So he goes for Dark Pulse. And I kind of figured I might be able to live that with my um, HP and Special Defense. I'm going to do. That's amazing. So I'm able to get my Recover off. And I just I do not want to take the risk with um I do not want to take the risk with like min max damage. So I decided to swap out. I go back into my prelim because again it is specially defensive and then this thing would easier to take a dark pulse, which it does okay ish. I actually kinda of would prefer that take it a bit more comfortably. But as you see that that thing's nearly going down and I just kinda of reached up and I as I said I need prelim, so I go back into my uh Garados, my Salah to um Kind of just intimidate, and actually goes for a fire blast. I kind of thought he might go for a dragon pulse or a Draco meteor just because I'm about to die. I might as well hit something ridiculously hard. But he goes for the fire blast. Gyarados doesn't mind. It is a bit of a tank when it has max HP, my special defense. Uh, Thunderbolt is redonkulously, redonkulously obvious. He did make some pretty obvious plays. I was able to play around that. So I go into my Drudagon here. He's able to take that Thunderbolt. Does not see the Sucker Punch coming. I kind of thought the Sucker Punch was a bit too obvious. But I kind of just went for it anyway, it's grand. And unfortunately, I underestimate how fucking amazing Max HP, Max um, Defense Drudagon is. Because he takes this Dragon Claw. Like, obviously, I thought he might go for the Outrage because I have nothing to take an Outrage. But I still live, and that's pretty good from a, I'm guessing, Jolly uh, Max Max Attack uh, Salon. So I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> unfortunately, I go for a Dragon Claw. I mean, a Dragon Tail because I knew he won't attack because he knows I have the Sucker Punch. So why would he come in for like that? So it goes for the... Um, he goes for the uh, Will O Wisp. I don't know why it's been a super play, but I was sort of thinking this could be my chance to kind of bulk up because the Salamence is practically gone. And so basically, I need to keep getting these defense boosts so I'm able to take uh, Salamence Outrage. Because looking at his team, all he has is a Sleeping Magna Zone, his Feral Thorn, his Jettisoned, and the Salamence. So I need to get these bulk up straight away. I really should actually, in hindsight, I should have sped this up, but uh, what are you going to do? I apologize. But basically, it's bulking up. Basically, setting up on a fair turn, it's always going to handy because the thing cannot do anything to me. Prelim, it is kind of fast, but no, I have a bit of speed, Eve, he's not a lot in it. Plus, the fact I'm bulking up on it, that means that his gyro balls are doing less and less. So, this might be my window to get kind of back into the um, battle. Now, unfortunately, he just times that really unlucky because I went for a drain punch because he probably thought I was going to keep bulking up and bulking up, but unfortunately, it's not the case. I'm able to hit the Salamance on the switch for a drain punch, knocking out plus three. And I'm pretty sure like he's got nothing to kind of deal with um, with my prelim. He goes in for his Magnezone. That will not wake up because obviously it's their sleep turns reset. Knock out the Magnezone at full HP, plus 3 attack, plus 3 defense. You cannot burn me. He can't do anything to me. You can possibly hit me for an Ice Beam if he had it, but that's not going to be the case. Go for a Seed Bomb, plus 3. Jellison, you're good, but you're no prelim. And prelim just dominate that. And that rubs salt in the wounds. He disables my uh, Seed Bomb. If you had a disabled, probably the drain punch, or like obviously I can't drain punch it. Jellicent, things battle would have been a bit longer, but unfortunately, go for the plus three drain punch and boom, take out the uh, fire thorn and win the battle. Thank you very much, Spartamatus, for a great battle. And thank you, PMP viewers, for a great team. Obviously, there was a couple of sets, 50 50 sets. I was like, oh, this worked. But the first time losing, using that prelim set, and I must say, it did very well. I was very chill. As soon as I saw that set, I was like, okay, that set's going to be work. But thank you, everyone, so much for uh, your uh, all your um your sets. To be Salah, Jerla, Rain. Oh, I'm sorry for butchering your names. But anyway, let me know what you think of the team, the move set, and stuff like that. Let me know what you think of the battle as well. Hope you enjoyed this. Facebook link below. Check that out as well. And there's also going to be another um, event video coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that in the one and done. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all. And you better leave. Amazing ones, you PMP viewers, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.